my lady. Okay. Today's May 27th, a Sunday, and it's 6.37. And today I'm going to try to encapsulate my placenta, which is a whole six weeks later. <laughs> but um, I didn't I didn't do it earlier because I didn't have the stuff. But now I have it. So I have the single gelatin cap size zero, uh, 215. A ginger root. A lemon, which is a huge lemon. Like, look at my hand. Look at my hand. And then look at this lemon. Like, wow. That's a big lemon. I gotta add Whole Foods at that. Then a pepper. And then my placenta. A cutting board. A knife. And then I have this pa red paper right here, which I don't know how well it's gonna show up, but I was going to do an imprint on the red paper as well. Gloves, if you don't want to get your hands dirty. And then I have a steamer pot which is the steamer on top and just a regular boiler on top on the bottom and just put the water down there and stuff like that and so I'm gonna try to get this done I don't have very much help with the camera wise so I'm doing this with um just me okay so I'm gonna try to get this done I'll be right back okay so I just took it out and it looks Rico said it looks gross. But this is the baby side. I don't know if y'all can tell. Y'all, this has been in the freezer for a while, so I've thawed it out and it looks totally different from what it would what it would look like. And this is her sack, which is what she was in. Oh, that's creepy. Ew. But yeah, she was inside of there and so this side. You can see where my, my water broke. Cut. That is like so cool. But anyways, this is her side. As you can see, her bill cord was really long. And then this is the maternal side, which looks goopy. So, I'm trying to do this. Which I don't think I'll be able to do, which is the imprint. Because it's so dry. But, whatever. I tried. Alright? That's all that matters is if you try. Whatever. I'll show y'all pictures of that later. So now he's supposed to just rinse it out until it, the water runs clear. Running in cold water, of course. So now I have to turn the camera. Hold on. So you rinse it until it runs clear. It's cold water. After this. I'm going to cut up the lemon, the ginger root, and the pepper, and then steam it. I want to remove any blood clots. I'm going to show you what a blood clot looks like once I'm done. But you want to remove any of those. And then I'm going to wash my hands. And I do have on black gloves. And these are just gloves I use, I've got from my kit from when I um, do hair. So they're just regular black gloves because I can't wear latex. So whatever you prefer with gloves. Now I'm just washing my hands. And my baby's like on the uh, living room floor playing. Alana's doing tummy time. And she's not like, well, she's liking it for now. No, Rico. Thank you. Okay, so I'm showing you what the blood clot looks like. Oh, well, that's the blood clot. That looks freaking gross, huh? Yeah, freaking gross. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Ew. It's gross. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the cord off and you cut the cord off and try to make a heart to make it a keepsake but you don't steam the cord you just dehydrate it all right so I'll be right back okay so I'm getting ready to cut my lemon my fancy ginger root and my pepper I am 
decided to do this video because like when you when I was trying to look it up um, to learn how to do it I didn't see that many videos on how to's and the ones I did see were crappy and video so I hope this one isn't that horrible all that ramen that little bitty meat ain't done some limits of jokes anyways but yeah so I didn't see that many videos on how to do this so hopefully my video is helpful and kind of in detail for you um the lemon the ginger and the pepper really isn't for taste or anything it's more of a kind of preservative so it's not just not just to season the placenta or anything it's just to give it just to help it so you love lemons you love lemons okay baby um not right now okay so i'm putting it on my cutting board and yes my consistent on the cutting board but the vegetable i mean the fruit isn't touching it so i'll show you see it's not touching it there's lemons okay and now i'm going to cut up the peppers you don't want to cut this up it doesn't have to be really chunky it doesn't have to be really thin i mean it's just the pepper uh oh come on, way over there so um the reason why i'm trying this and i didn't do it with rico i mean i didn't do a whole lot of stuff when i was pregnant with rico because normally people just don't tell you these things you have to kind of research it yourself and then you find out but anyways the reason why i'm doing this with her is because you know it's supposed to be very beneficial with milk production energy wise it helps with postpartum depression so it just has a whole lot of health benefits and that's a positive for me so i cut this up in like one eighth inch little little um one eighth of an inch so nothing too big okay so if I cut this wrong I'm pretty sure there's not a right or wrong way to cut this um, but I'm gonna cut this oh that smells good so this is the first time cutting up a ginger a ginger root so do I'm going to cut off this skin part because I've um, never done this before so it just seems right to cut off the skin but if any of you guys have uh, did this before let me know let me know if it was worth it. I'll let you guys know if it was worth me doing it or if I noticed a difference in my mood or my energy or anything like that. So, see? What it looks like? It looks like a pineapple kind of Florida, huh? So, that's what I'm doing now. Alright, y'all. I'm going to do this. I'll be right back, okay? Alright, so everything's chopped up. I got my lemons, my peppers, my ginger root. My placenta. So now I'm getting ready to cut off the umbilical cord off the placenta, which is right there. And um, I'm getting ready to do that. Oh, also, I you need a um, what is this thing? A baking pan, hot. And I'm going to cover it with wax paper, so no worries about that. And um, then I'm gonna put it in the oven. So now the time is 7:04. I had to stop and feed Alana. She was getting hungry. So okay. Try to get this done. That's where y'all can see me. You rock her, Rico? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So this feels totally, totally, totally gross. Like, I don't know. It's not like cutting regular meat, if that makes sense. It's just not, just not like cutting regular meat. Mm -hmm. 
So, ta da! There it is. It's detached and put to the side. So, I'm going to slip this over. And then, I don't know if y'all can see me. Well, okay, y'all can see me. So, inside of this, I'm going to put a few ginger roots, a few peppers. While Alana's fussing. Baby, you gotta make sure she's being wrapped, okay? Mommy be right over there, okay? Rico. Yeah. And so, I'm gonna try to do this fast. So, I'm gonna put about three lemons in there. Maybe four. And, um, what you wanna do is kinda wanna wrap it and tuck it all underneath there. Some kind of way. Kind of just tuck it and wrap it around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to rinse my hands off right quick. Y'all yeah, can't see me, but I'm just rinsing my hands off. So. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, so in my water pan, I'm just going to put maybe like an inch of water. If that, you're supposed to, you don't need that much water, you're just steaming it, you're not cooking it. Well, you are cooking it, but you, you guys know what I mean. So, at the bottom of my steamer, I'm going to put some ginger root, some pepper, can you see that, a lemon, two lemons, and now my placenta, which I do this one hand, so forgive me in the pot so I'm going to let this steam 15 minutes on one side 15 minutes on the other side on medium high which is probably like a 6 or 7 on my stove and it's 17 alright so I have just flipped my placenta and that looks gross I don't know if you guys can see it but that look really gross. Ugh. But it looks brownish. Like a piece of done meat. <laughs> uh oh. Steam. Sorry. But that's what it looks like. Oh, after 15 minutes on one side and 15 minutes on the other side. Okay. Which I think I might need a little longer because there's this red spot right there, which I don't think it's done. Oh my god, look at that up close. Ew. Gross. Alright, y'all. Bye. <laughs> okay guys, so I've just finished steaming the placenta. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's still kind of steaming. No, well, yeah, it's still kind of has that steam coming off, but that's what it looks like. It's tough, like a <laughs> extra, extra well done piece of meat. Um, so you're supposed to cut this up into little, um, probably a half or one eighth inches like turkey like not turkey like jerky and um put it in the oven but right now baby girl's in my arm so i'm gonna put her down and i'll be right back but so yeah i'm back I'm gonna zoom out right quick. Well, well, that's it up close. I don't know if you can tell the texture or not, but that's what it looks like. That is weird. Yeah, so. Alright. Wind it out. Of course, baby girl's gonna start fussing because she doesn't like, like her fussy too much. 
Christmas row. Yep. There you go. All right, guys. So I'm gonna chop this up. I'm gonna show you how to chop this up right here. I'll be back with you guys later. Bye. So, I have finished dehydrating my placenta. And it looks so freaking weird. I don't know if you can see that. But, they're pretty hard. See? They just broke. That's her umbilical cord. Looks weird. And that's my blender. It's going in the blender. Now, so this might seem like this. Okay, so now I'm going to grind it in the blender. I'm going to use grind. I don't know if you can see the word grind, but it's right there. So it's going to be loud. This is going to be so creepy. So, this is the placenta. All done. Grind it up. And uh, ready to put it into the pills. The gelatin pills. So I'm gonna try to do this and show y'all me doing probably one or two. And then I'll come back with them all finished. Okay. Okay, so I got my spoon. I got my cap. Just gonna take a little bit and just pour it in there some kind of way. So so I'll feel that. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. All together. That's what it looks like. I'll do one more. I'm running out of time on my camera. So, normally people charge you anywhere from 100 to $300 to do this. And I just did it for. The pills cost like $6. Then the price of a lemon, which varies, and a ginger root. And a pepper. So all under twenty dollars. Can you say big savings? So all right, y'all. That's two down. A whole bunch more to go. Bye.